Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the M1 Garand, or more specifically, we're going to be talking about this little swivel at the end here. This is often considered to be a sling swivel, but in fact it's something called a stack and swivel. So today I'm going to show you the stack and swivel and show you what they're for and how they work. All right then, so the stack and swivel. So these, like, as I said before, are often mistaken as being a sling swivel, but they're not. They've got a completely different purpose. So in the past, on old black powder muskets and stuff like that, that was very common to see something called a stacking rod. So I'll load up some pictures of some stacking rods so you can see how they were used. But essentially these rods were there so you could get a group of guns and link them together so they could stand up on their own and you could keep them off the ground, off the dirt and the mud, the sand, and keep your gun clean. The stacking was part of parade ground stuff and drills, things like that. So that was very common in the old days. Now when you get to slightly more modern equipment, like some of the rifles from World War I and the Garand from World War II, some people, for example the Americans here, replaced them stack and rods with something called a stack and swivel. So on the front of the rifle here, you can see the stack and swivel. You can see that's essentially the same as a swing swivel, except that it's got this notch cut out in it, a bit like a chain link. So how this would work is you'd get three rifles and you'd link together their three stack and swivels like a chain and then they can lean against each other like a tripod. And I'm going to attempt to show you how to do that now. Normally this is something that would be done by multiple people. It's quite awkward to try and do it on your own, but we'll make an attempt and you can probably get a laugh out of me at the same time. Okay then, I'll try and show you how these go together. I'm very limited for space here, as you can see. And this is a bit awkward to do on your own because this should have been done by multiple people. Obviously you'll have a person for each rifle. So we've got three Garands here. And what you want to do is get one of the Garands and have that painting, painting, pointing away from you like so. And you get your second Garand and you simply hook the swivels into each other. He says simply, but it can be a little bit awkward. So there you go. So that's the first two rifles connected together. Then you get your third rifle. And this is where it tends to get really awkward when you're working on your own. And you need to just try and drop that in without making a complete mess. And there you go. And then you can separate them up a little bit. And once you get them in the right place, ta-da, you have your stacked Garands. So now that the Garands have been successfully stacked together, I'll show you the close-up here. You can see we've got the three swivels and they've all been successfully linked together like a chain. And now that that's done, the two side Garands essentially pull backwards whilst the central one pulls forwards. So they make a nice little tripod like this. And you could have this set up on a display, although personally I wouldn't recommend doing it with the original rifles. And here you go, now I've swapped my lens out. You can see the whole stack. You can see this would make quite a nice little display, but again, I wouldn't do it with original rifles. Grab yourself a few Denixers, and then you can link them together like this, have them on a display, and you'd be good to go. But obviously this keeps them out of the muck and the dirt, but if it was raining, the water's gonna go straight down the barrel, so just be aware of that. Also, it's worth noting that as you can see here, the Springfield M1903 has the same stack and swivel on board that, so you can mix and match. If I was to put this in the link with the Garands, it wouldn't make any difference at all. So you can do it with three Springfields, three Garands, or a combination of all of them. One last thing to note is obviously when these are stacked like this, you can see the barrels are all pushing up against each other, so you could cause some rubbing or scratching to your uh, rifles. If that's something you're worried about, obviously don't do this. Or what you can do is get some of the little canvas muzzle covers and wrap them on each of the barrels and then they won't hurt each other, they won't scratch up or scuff or do anything like that. But this is a neat little feature of the rifles, a little historic uh, holdover that you don't really see on modern guns. So I thought you'd be interested to see how that works and how you could incorporate it into your own displays. So I hope this little video on the stack and swivel has been helpful for you, showing something that you can do at events when you're on display. I personally wouldn't recommend doing this with original rifles, but if you've got some Denex replicas, for example, you get a few of them, stack them together, have them on the side of the display somewhere, and that look quite nice. If this video has been helpful to you, please do give me a like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below, things that I've got wrong as always, things I've missed. Let me know so I can improve for the future. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching the channel.